Hello everybody, it's Zillindus, and I'm going to show you guys how to get a Quintar Pass, and also how to obtain a permanent Quintar. So, what you guys want to do is go to the Rolling Quintar Fields, east of the capital, right out the gate, talk to these guys and the Quintar Stable Owner, and he's going to say that you're going to need a Quintar Pass, and I'm going to show you guys where to get that. He can also give you one if you have at least seven crystals. But I'm going to show you how to get a Quintar Pass. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is head on out the door and uh, we're going to start our adventure in the Quintar Fields. And we're going to go visit the Quintar Enthusiast. And for this tutorial, uh, I'm going to take it a little slower than normal because I want to help out the uh, the new people that are just starting uh, Crystal Projects. So I figured I'd do a slower video and help out the newer adventurers. You're going to come across a um, pack of um, delinquent. Kill them, destroy them. Alright, as soon as you destroy them, take their lunch money and continue on your journey. We're going to go north east ish. And, uh, yeah, try and avoid these flames. Well, I'm going to try and avoid them because I've already done all this. <laughs> but uh, this is actually a great spot to level up and stuff. And right here we're going to be encountering the Quintar Enthusiast. And up at the very top of the loft is the Quintar Enthusiast. And he's going to want you to collect a brutal Quintar Eye. And this guy's also got some really funny things <laughs> to say. <laughs> uh, I, I really love all these little things that the, the dev throws at you. But yeah, he's going to want some Quintar eyeballs. And one that we're going to want is the Brutish Quintar Eye. So, I'm going to show you guys where to get that. Alright, so head on out of the house. And we are going to be doing some platforming. You're going to want to jump on these trees. Say hello to the Quintar. And we're going to do some more tree jumping. You're going to want to be a little careful. I'm going to try and avoid this guy. Nope. Nope. Not today. Not today, sir. I'm trying to make a video. Okay. Do some more tree jumping. All right. All right. We got this. We got this. Easy does it. Now we're going to do some more tree jumping. And then we're going to come across the Quintar Nest. And this is going to be where we're going to get the... Uh, Brutish Quintar Eyeball. As you can see, there's a crystal over there. I highly recommend you guys getting that. Okay, but right now, for video's sake, sake um, we're going to stay on topic here. So, you want to take this path. It's a free silver ore. You can use silver ore to upgrade some weapons. The clockwork weapons and armor. You'll find those in the capital. Little tips and tricks hints right there and this is the brutish quintar defeat this guy to get the eyeball and uh, I highly recommend using a debuff to um, bring his uh, magic down so use magic break on him and use wind resistant gear if you have some or just wear gear with high magic resistance and you should be fine Alright, so now that you've defeated the Brutish Quintar, head back to the Quintar Enthusiast house and give him the Brutish Quintar Eye. Then once you give him the Eye, he'll give you the Quintar Pass. Now once you have the Quintar Pass, go back to the Rent a Quintar Stables, give the shopkeeper the Pass, and he'll give you a Quintar that you can rent. Take your Quintar and come back all the way up here, and we're going to do some more platforming with your Quintar that you just uh, acquired. So now that you're on your Renta Quintar, you're going to want to make some jumps over here, like so. Okay, and then we're going to head up north this time. So you want to jump on here, jump over here, jump on this, and then jump on on over here. Then we're gonna make another running jump. Like so. Then mount and we're gonna jump up here. 
and then don't forget to save right here and then we're gonna enter the uh, Quintar Sanctum and then from here you're gonna work your way all the way up to the top alright so once you get to the top you'll come across another save point and you'll also come across another crystal grab those and then make your way further up to the top so you want to jump on these bouncing pads and then right here will be a another quintar that you have to defeat once you've defeated that quintar you're gonna want to return back to the quintar enthusiast so an easy way to get to the Quintar Enthusiast is to take this path over here. You want to hop down to where the crystal was and then take this path. And this will eventually lead to the Quintar Enthusiast. So just hop on down, go inside and talk to the Quintar Enthusiast, give him the eyeball, and then he will give you a permanent Quintar. And then you can equip the Quintar Flute and you'll be able to summon your own Quintar whenever you want. And then that's it. That's how you get your permanent Quintar. You guys all take care.